Hey y'all, so today is January 4th, which means I check in to the Disney College program in one week. That is seven whole days, and I cannot wait. Um, my mom and I will be flying out to Orlando this Saturday the 9th, and then I'll check in on the 11th, and I'll start my journey from there. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me what I've been doing this month or two leading up to me leaving and checking in at Disney, so I thought I would just talk a little bit about what I've been up to. Um, one of the first things I did um, was I found roommates, and I talked about this a little bit in my other video, but I met a girl named Brittany at TCU who um, is also a junior, she's also attractions, and we knew right off the bat that we wanted to room together, and then um, we just Skyped a lot of other girls and found two other wonderful girls who we're going to room with. Um, their names are Morgan and Leslie. Um, Morgan has done the program before, so we've been asking her so many questions, which is very helpful, so if you can find an alumni out there to room with, I totally suggest that because she's just a text away and I can ask her all of my abundance of questions. So thanks for that, Morgan. Um, we ha Brittany and I have not met Leslie and Morgan yet, but we feel like we already know them. So we have decided to all try to grab dinner Sunday night before check-in with our parents. We can meet everybody and just get to know the girls who will be living with for the next five months. So I'm very excited for that. Um, I've also been receiving quite a few emails from Disney and they've been emails such as um, signing up for your classes so the way that worked was they gave us a window of time during a specific time zone that um, class registration would be open so we all had to rush and see what classes we wanted to take in which classes didn't fill up already um, you can register for classes up until the first I believe but they go pretty quickly so you want to register right away and um, TCU won't take any of Disney's classes for credit but um, Disney does offer classes that you can take not for credit and they don't cost you anything so so um, I'm enrolled in an entertainment class that is only for theater majors, and it's every Monday for a couple hours, I believe, from 2 to 5.30, I could be wrong, um, and it's for eight weeks. So the good thing about that is um, I will not be scheduled to work any of the Mondays that I have that class. Um, I believe I can take on hours if I wish to, but Disney won't schedule you hours to work on the day that you have a class, which is really nice. So if you want a guaranteed day off and if you want to experience what education is like in Disney, I would definitely sign up for a class. Um, we also received emails about hire documentation and filling out all that fun stuff. Um, I've had a little bit of difficulty accessing mine, but I've heard that's pretty common. And I just found out today that you can fill all of that out at check-in. Um, I hope that is still accurate. I'm going to have to wait and see next week. But your hire documentation is through your hire portal. And all of that is supposed to be filled out a week before you get there. Well, a week before I get there is today. And I'm having trouble getting a hold of anybody, so I'm just going to trust what I read on blogs that you can fill it out when you get there and just cross my fingers and hope that that's okay. But it's stuff like, um, like I said, tax information, um, uh, checking and billing accounts to put your direct deposit on when you get paid, and then um, your I-9 form. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that with me. Um, they also have sent us checklists of everything that we should bring with us during check-in. We have tons of forms that they have for us to bring, but it's all laid out on the website. Um, what to bring if you're bringing a car. Um, we are shipping my car instead of driving it out there. So I think the people are coming today or tomorrow to come grab my baby and take her out there. Um, but unfortunately, I can't fill her up with stuff. I was going to just fill up my car with everything I need, but we can't do that for liability reasons. So now my shopping list and my packing list has grown, but that's okay. I'll have my car out there, and then I'll fly out there, and it'll be really nice. Um, and then the last set of emails we have received so far is about housing. And that was very exciting and very eventful. Um, I would just go ahead and say that two weeks on the dot before your check-in date, wake up early that morning because I knew that the email should be coming, but I woke up to all of my Disney roommates calling me frantically because they needed my like roommate ID number that they emailed us, and I was dead asleep because it was like 8 in my time zone. <laughs> I was so tired. So I woke up and I was trying to fill everything out. Um, and I think they changed it a little bit this year. So I would go ahead and talk to your roommates and have your rankings for all of the dorms picked out because we only had our top three and we needed to end up ranking everything and ranking it together like the same. So, and then you'll have to have a leader in your roommates. And so Morgan went ahead and did that because she's done this before. And um, your leader has to fill out all of this stuff 
um, and rank everything and link all your roommates together, it'll tell you how many people you can link up with. Thankfully, we were allowed to link up with seven people because we have such an early arrival date, but we just needed three other people so far. So we went ahead and ranked all those and we'll find out the day we get there, if we're together and if we have other roommates and where we're living and all that stuff. So in a week from today, we'll find all that out, which is really exciting. Um, but other than that, I think we might be getting an email telling us if we have a specific check-in time and just reminding us that everything's coming up really quickly. But other than that, I've just been spending these past few weeks packing my life away. Um, six months worth of packing I thought would not be that much, but it really is. And I'm trying to condense, but I'm not good at it. But so far, we're filling up three suitcases plus a box that my mom will be shipping me plus things I'm going to buy out there. So, um... I'm an overpacker, but you have to take into consideration that you need things like a bedspread and a shower curtain and towels and business casual clothes and park clothes and all of that fun stuff. So I'm trying not to forget anything, but um, they have packing lists everywhere. Bring stuff like a Keurig, a toaster. Talk to your roommates, see if they can bring anything that you don't have room to bring, like me. Um, and then I've been kind of formulating a bucket list. I have been watching DCP vlogs on YouTube like nobody's business. Um, my favorite is Pixels and, Pixels and Pixie Dust. Absolute favorite. I love Megan watching her on repeat. Um, yeah, and so from that I've been creating a bucket list of things I want to do at each park and things I just want to get done before my program is over. It's getting a little lengthy, so I might not get it all done, but I think it's still fun to have an idea of stuff that you would like to do out there. So I've been crafting that a little bit. Um, but other than that, I've just been patiently, maybe not so patiently, waiting to go. And um, I'll have a lot more information once I get out there and find out where I'm living, what park I'm in what attraction I'm at, I'm really excited to find out, um, and then casting traditions, check-in, all that fun stuff I'll post videos about later. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit about what I've been doing. One week out, seven days, keep the countdown going, um, and yeah, it's going to be a blast. I can't wait to start my journey, but let me know if you guys have any questions. Bye!